Welcome to Do You Wanna Dance with Sophia in Sapphire. Learn how simple it is to go from wallflower dreamer to confident center of the stage dancer. Whether it's the first dance as husband and wife or another option for date night, we'll help you go from nerdy to flirty, jump-starting your dancing journey and transforming your experience into a personal expression of what makes you, you. And now, your host for Do You Wanna Dance, Sophia in Sapphire. Welcome to the Do You Wanna Dance radio show. I'm your hostess, Sophia, and you're listening live on VegasAllNetRadio.com. We are live every Wednesday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. This show is about inspiring you, helping you get out there, jump-starting your dancing journey, making the most out of your first dance experience. We have tips and tricks to show you how to get from nerdy to flirty, and today with confidence, healthy self-image, and empowerment. A lot of times, doing what is scary builds us up, and dancing is one of those challenging things everyone could have on their bucket list, and if for only one reason, which is to blast through our innermost fears and insecurities, um, and unveil what true beauty really is inside. Today, we'll have two very special guests joining us. They are both uh, entrepreneurs and women in the industry of aesthetics. So stay tuned, and we will have La Rich Hart and Brianna Michelle join us later to talk a little bit more about that. For past episodes, you are welcome to check out sophiainsapphire.com. We have archives and downloads. Like us on Facebook to be personally invited to our classes, events, and meetups. Co-hosting with us today is Magic Al Jensen. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Sophia. It's always great to be here in the Vegas All Night Radio Studios with you every Friday, you know, every oh. Wednesday. <laughs> what are you doing on Friday? <laughs> every four o'clock on Wednesday is what I was trying to say, but oh. that didn't make any sense. But then again, most of what I say doesn't make sense. So, hey, can I tell you a really quick story? I know that you've set up the show, but I want to tell you a quick yes, story. Yes, please. A mutual friend of, uh, of ours, William Mears. I had a chance to have lunch with him today, oh. and he actually presented to a group uh, called the Convention Services Association, and he talked about his MVP strategy. And, of course, William is a, a great sponsor and friend of the Do You Want to Dance radio show. And the first time I'd ever heard him speak on his MVP strategy in front of a group of people, we had about 35, 40 uh, convention service members there today, and everybody was entranced by his uh, by his talk. It was fantastic. Awesome. And I, I hope that all of our listeners will get a chance to give him a call. At 800-411-6472. It was a great message, and uh, he's a great guy. You know what I want to say is that uh, thank you so much for sharing, but, you know, life is not what necessarily happens to us. It's what we make happen. Oh, and you are so right. The value of having a mentor or a guide in life uh, is so crucial because nothing is achieved alone. And sometimes we need uh, each other to keep ourselves in check and hold ourselves accountable and sometimes the hardest part is to get started or to be shown that new perspective so for example you know somebody like william mears is a great starting point you know if you do want to take that next step and grow your business and for example uh dancing great starting point is to get out there and get to know me that's right that's <laughs> get right out to, there do the first step to uh to become a friend with sophia and sapphire on facebook because that's where you send out all the invitations that's, right. that's where all the information really starts from right there and uh, i want to throw out another little tidbit of information and sure. that is this saturday july 26th do you know what that is National Dance Day. Oh, National man. Somebody Dance did Day. their homework. That's right. It's the uh, the day that you can celebrate the joy of movement by uh, joining hundreds, millions of other folks. Get out there and just get moving. Just get off the sidelines. Get in the game and uh, and move and dance. Get flirty. And, and absolutely <laughs> go from nerdy to flirty. And you have a knack for helping people take that first step and gain the confidence that they need to you know not be afraid to get out there in front of everybody and uh and you know move yeah you know and when you do get out there uh you start 
uh, realizing that you're able to do it. And people think you're better than you even think about yourself. And all of a sudden you're like, hey, I, I can do this. I'm pretty good. I'm That's right. not, not too shabby. And all of a sudden life is so much greener. And uh, the realities of, you know, attaining things like confidence become, you know, tangible. Exactly. And let's face it, we're not, most of us anyhow, are not doing this for the audience's or the viewer's benefit. We're doing it for our benefit. We're doing it for our health benefit. We're doing it for our spiritual benefit. We're doing it to uh, connect with our partner and, and to just have a good time. And it's not what the viewer, the watcher, the person, the audience, or the sidelines is thinking. It's about what we experience when we get out on the dance floor. And there are so many things that you experience once you get out there. Yeah, you know, dancing has been one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm very creative as as a person, you know. Like I've mentioned before, you know, I'm an artist, yes. I illustrate, I write Musician, music. Yes. Yeah. But dancing has been one of those things where, you know, you have to put yourself out there and people watch and they judge. And <laughs> it's kind of hard to move freely through space and confidently. And even, I have to say, becoming a teacher and a professional has been a huge challenge because you have to believe a lot in yourself when you're standing in front of 300 people and instructing them, for example. You know? Absolutely right. <laughs> and uh, in the beginning, it was so hard for me to really feel good about it because um, I never expected to get the feedback that I would get. And after every class, I would teach group classes, you know, on a regular basis, anywhere from 100, 200, to up to 300 people on Friday nights. People, strangers would come up to me and they're like, you lead a fantastic class. You know, I've taken so many group classes and beginner classes and everything's mumbo jumbo. Nothing makes sense, but you break it down and it is so enjoyable because we can actually do it. And you, yeah, that's because you have the ability to connect with those people who are in your class. Well, oh, not to brag, but my whole point is for the longest time, I wouldn't even accept those compliments. Get out of here. Like it, it, it didn't make sense to me. I, I couldn't believe that it could be true. So a lot of my success is due to all of the people who believed in me. Certainly. Because for the longest time, they were the wind beneath my wings. <laughs> uh, uh, I hear you. Absolutely. So it's it's important to have good people in your life so and at, to trust. So at one point, the light switch apparently flipped on, the light bulb came on, and you became empowered. You had the confidence. You knew that what you were doing was making a difference in other people's lives. Yeah. Can you... Recall that one point when you know, that light bulb went on? I, you know what, to be honest, so I was teaching at this really big studio um, in Silicon Valley, and uh, I would be on rotation with a few other teachers um, every Friday night. So I would teach about maybe not every single Friday night, but we would trade. Sure. And the numbers of attendance, when I started, that was the proof in the pudding. When, like I, I couldn't believe like all the these things people said, but when I was the instructor... Numbers the class was packed, and All I'm right. like, wow, these people aren't lying. Mm -hmm. And that's when it was like I felt empowered because for the longest time I've been denying it, you sure. know. Um, so I guess, you know, we all want proof. But if I had a piece of advice, I would say that trust, trust feedback and, and get people in your life that you do look up to to help guide the way, to be your Sherpa, to be your mentor, and really take heart to what they say because a lot of times we're the last ones to give ourselves credit oh i couldn't agree more couldn't i and i like that sherpa <laughs> reference there that's good where did that come from you know i love that because um as an instructor you know i have students of all ages and he, he, anywhere from seniors to, the oldest student i've had was 92 years old wow and they would call me sensei or, <laughs> you know, they would call me these names as if I'm some <coughs> guide, right? And Guru. there was one, one, yes, one student in particular who uh, we joked around being each other's Sherpas because, uh -huh. you know, he had some insight on life that I really loved hearing about. And I was really bringing out, you know, working on his fears and dancing and stuff like that. So, you know, I was his Sherpa. But I love uh, just the the visual of the Sherpa and how it correlates and is very symbolic in our own lives. Sure. You know, uh, you can't really climb a mountain all by yourself and expect to get to the top. So that's a very good analogy. I like that. And you're absolutely right. Going out there and, and finding other people who 
um, who have been down the road before, who can give you some guidance, some leadance, uh, leadance, easy for me to say. <laughs> Where did that word come from? Uh, some, some leadership and uh, give you something to, to follow. That's a great thing to have. Yeah, so I think it might be that time to actually introduce our guests to the show. I think it's time. Let's do it. We have two very special guests joining us. They are two strong and empowering women, both entrepreneurs in the aesthetics industry. La Richhart and Brianna Michelle, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, we're super excited to be welcome, here. Welcome, La. Welcome, Brianna. Good to have you. So here. you two, um, La, you do photography. I do. And you bring out the beauty in women. And um, Brianna, you do makeup and hair. Correct. Makeup. makeup. Yes. <laughs> <All right. laughs> uh, which are super important um, in terms of the way you guys make other people feel. Exactly. So I, I think there's a purpose behind what you do as a tool. You know, I use dancing as a tool, you know, to help people feel more confident. But I think uh, same thing. We have an overlap here. So tell us a little bit more. Introduce yourselves. Uh, just a bit about what you do. Um, how about you, La? You start. Sure. Um, so I basically specialize in boudoir and beauty portraiture just for women. Um, I love to take the everyday woman who maybe looks at a magazine and she says, oh, I wish I could look like that. And we do hair and makeup and I coach her through the entire shoot. So I get to be able to show them that they can look like a supermodel as well. So it's very empowering and I love the feedback because women walk out with like a new air of confidence. And it's just, it's empowering for myself too, to be able to share that with women. Awesome. Awesome. I love your work. We'll talk more about that later. And you, Brianna. Yes. So um, I run a bridal makeup business and I specialize in bridal makeup as well as makeup lessons. And what I do is I bring out the natural beauty in brides and as well as teach and show everyday women, all women actually, that you too can find your personal style through makeup. And, you know, that red lipstick that you always wanted, you can wear it. You can wear it. So we really build up the confidence. And um, it's a wonderful experience to watch someone walk away with a smile on their face. That's awesome. So, Brianna, tell me. How in the world did you get started in this? I mean, is it something that's just always been uh, of interest to you or what, no, what spurred it? That's a very good question. Actually, I was bullied as a child, um, made fun of, and I used makeup as a tool to make myself feel good while I was going to school. And my, I would wear eyeliner, I would wear lipstick, and it kind of gave me the confidence to cope and deal with that bullying through school and I wanted to um, eventually give other women the confidence by utilizing that tool through makeup. It's an amazing what what how powerful it can actually be. Sure, that makes a lot of sense. I know a little bit later we're going to talk about colors and how certain colors can really help to um, to give confidence to women and things of that nature. So I know that you do a lot of work in colors. Is that right? That's correct, yes. Very good. And La, tell us how in the world did you get into uh, boudoir and beauty portraiture? Well, I've been a photographer for many years, but I just found boudoir and beauty portraiture probably about three or four years ago. Um, growing up, I kind of had, you know, wasn't always feeling the most beautiful, and I kind of know how you look at magazines and you want to look like those women. So once I found boudoir and I started shooting, I knew that was all I wanted to do. And I just fell in love with it and fell in love with making other women feel confident. All right. So uh, we have a lot of time to, to talk with both of you ladies here today. So a little later, you'll tell us about your studio and where you do this and uh, and maybe some of the, the tips and tricks and techniques that you use to uh, to make women feel empowered and beautiful. Is that right? Very good. All right. So we'll expand on that more later. We have to segue into our first commercial break. We will be right back after these short messages. Feel free to get up and dance while we take a quick break for these commercial messages.
The experience is so special. The Sophia and Sapphire experts are like dance superheroes. They make it fun, easy, and comfortable. They're professional, passionate, and have a playful company culture. No lesson is the same. They break it down, and the experience is tailored to you. The milestones are exciting. Fear and intimidation no more. It's like no other. Fill out the Get Started form and get started with the Sophia and Sapphire Dance Superheroes today. Hey guys, it's Sophia. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Dancing with Sophia in Sapphire is an incredible experience. It's not just something fun and new, but it pushes you to get more out of life. To live as if nothing is stopping you. And that's hard to do when a lot of us have inhibitions. Learning to dance will challenge your mind and expand your horizons. Meanwhile, we promise to break it down for you in totally digestible, bite-sized pieces. Whether you want to become a babe magnet or nourish the cultured side of your mind, body, and soul, dancing will engage all your senses and allow you to experience the abundance of life through its miraculous benefits. Let us assist you in the most thrilling experience ever. Join in and call us now. Don't wait. Don't think. The first step might seem scary, but trust me on this one. Anyone who's ever done it raves about it. Just check out our reviews. Are you sick and tired of not seeing consistent growth in your business and feel like you're spinning your wheels no matter how hard you keep working? If you're ready to finally do something about it so you can start enjoying your life more, then listen up. My name is William Mears, and I'm the founder of Mears Venture Productions and creator of the popular MVP strategy. And I'm prepared to reveal three of my most powerful business acceleration strategies with you when you pick up the phone and call me. Together, we can create that magical growth you've been chasing after. So what are you waiting for? Give me a call, 1-800-411-6472. And let's take your business to a whole new level. Hi, it's Sophia from Sophia in Sapphire, here with a personal invitation to join me every week for my How to Dance in Real Life Situations beginner class. Begin your journey from nerdy to flirty while you learn how to make dance more than just a one-time thing. Join my How to Dance in Real Life Situations meetup at meetup.com and visit sophiainsapphire.com for more information. Are you funny? Do you want to be funnier? Want more laughs from your speech, business presentation, or act? I'm Big Magic Al Jensen, and in addition to being a radio show host, I perform my comedy magic act on stages across Las Vegas and cruise ships around the world. I've consulted and coached humorous speech contest winners, stage performers, and business professionals who want to bring more humor to their conversations and presentations. I can do the same for you with my program, Fun just got easier. One-on-one -on -one coaching, group classes, and workshops are available. Whether you want to be funnier in front of an audience or just in conversation, Funny Just Got Easier is the simple and quick way to kick up your humor. Check out funnyjustgoteasier.com for more information on personal coaching and workshop dates. That's funnyjustgoteasier.com. And I'm calling because my husband surprised me with dance lessons at Sophia in Sapphire. And we had a marvelous time. I never in a million years thought that I would be able to salsa. I can't believe that Jim was in for it. And we both had so much fun. Since then, we have been going out on dates just so we can salsa. And it's really changed our world. So thanks again, Sophia. We had a lot of fun. You're a very patient teacher, and I can't wait to take the next lesson. Do you Welcome back to Do You Wanna Dance? Once again, your host, Sophia in Sapphire. Sophia in Sapphire. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Sophia. And you're listening live to Do You Want to Dance Radio. Don't forget, you could find us online on sophiainsapphire.com 
for past episodes and downloads. And also, if you'd like to be invited, please join in on the fun. Like us on Facebook, Sophia in Sapphire. Today, we are talking about how to get from nerdy to flirty with confidence, healthy self image and empowerment. We have two special guests today from the beauty world. They are La and Brianna. Welcome back onto the show. Hi. <laughs> I, you know what? I love that both of you are in fields where you have the power to build someone's confidence up and transform an experience which is otherwise ordinary. Like anyone can take pictures. Anyone can, you know, slap on some makeup, but you guys really do it in a way where um, a, a woman can make a statement in the world by the new way that she does look. Is that so? Yes, absolutely. Well, I mean, Sophia, when you dance, like you put on what? A red lipstick, a pink lipstick. Hot and pink. For your tango. <laughs> and it gets you into character, right? It makes you feel good. Yes, it does. And there's a quote, actually, Law, you shared this the other day. Uh, we don't know who said this, but here it is. The strongest actions for a woman is to love herself, be herself, and shine amongst those who never believed she could. I absolutely love that quote. Um, I do too. Tell us I a little bit more. So. Um, basically, I just love how women, you know, when they feel confident and they feel beautiful, then they let down those inner guards and they let out their personality. And that's where their true beauty is, is in that personality. And when they let that out, it just shines and they create an aura of just gorgeousness that everybody's attracted to and so whether that's through makeup or through that dance or through a photo shoot where they can see themselves in a whole new way that's that's what I love about what I do and about what you guys do and so one of the things that you do is boudoir which is kind of controversial for some people um now wait a minute who for instance <laughs> well I don't know maybe some mothers out there or you know people that are come from uh, conservative families, or actually people who would have never fathomed uh, uh, to but, do such a thing. But I mean, you have clients that are soccer moms, right? Yes. That are entrepreneurs, business yep. women, yep. that are um, you know military personnel. I mean, yep. from all walks of life. Yes. So I mean, it's uh, it's something where any woman, you know, can be beautiful, and and who wants to preserve that you know on on a photographic film and create a print for herself or for her loved ones not to share those kind of things you can make those things happen i can't imagine who would be offended or turned off by that well a lot of our clients like to keep their you know pictures private maybe for their significant others sure. and then we have clients who are so generous and let me share their pictures so that they can encourage other women to take that you know leap of faith mm -hmm. but one of the things that i love too is to have those pictures in 20 years down the road or 30 years down the road that they can look back and just you know say wow i was gorgeous but i also encourage women to come in like every five ten years and celebrate every you know, part of their life. Sure, every stage of their yeah, life. Yeah, every stage, definitely, because not only do they enjoy those pictures, but their kids and their grandkids will enjoy those sure. pictures as well. Now, so. do you get the woman herself uh, is the primary person who calls you, or is it a lot of times the husband or the boyfriend, the significant other, who contacts you and says, hey, I want to do this as a gift or a surprise kind of thing? Definitely both. Okay. Um, women usually do it for their significant others, but they take away more from the shoot than they think they're going to in how the beginning. So? How so? They don't realize how much fun they're going to have. They don't realize they can feel so beautiful, and they don't realize how gorgeous they truly are. Mm -hmm. And when I can capture that, that's kind of one of my specialties is I can – work with women and I can get their guards down. I don't know whether it's a God-given talent or what, but <laughs> I can it. do that. Ooh. And so that's kind of what makes me special, Good to I guess. Know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So 
That's a whole other show right <laughs> yeah. there, how to get women's guard down. Yeah. I've been trying to answer that question for years. But now let me ask you another question here. It's I, I'm assuming it's not just a matter of call you up and say, you know, Tuesday at 2 o'clock I'm coming in for an hour and we're going to take some pictures. I'm assuming there's a little bit more to it than that. Definitely. Um, I usually say a minimum of two-week advancement. So we can sit down together. We can plan your shoot. We can talk about kind of what you envision. I can give you outfit ideas. I can tell you how to prepare for your shoot uh-huh. um, and then we're usually booked out four to six weeks in advance so we usually book a shoot probably about a month or two in advance before they do it and how long does a studio session normally last probably about four hours wow. is what i yeah plan out is we do an hour and a half of hair and makeup and then we'll do about an hour hour and a half of shooting time but then there's in between you know there's outfit changes mm-hmm. hair and makeup changes and stuff like that so i usually say about four hours okay so i mean and i know that it, it uh, probably varies from client to client but at the end of the session about how many photographs how many different uh, wardrobe changes you know what do they generally walk away with in terms of a package well, we do it kind of differently. We do session fees, which cover the hair and makeup and photo shoot first. Mm-hmm. And then they come back two weeks later, and I narrow down to their 25 best images, and I professionally retouch those. And then they get to look at those and choose which ones they want for products or digital images mm-hmm. and their private reveal session. Ah, very nice. And then you mentioned that... Uh you spend about 90 minutes or so doing hair and makeup. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know this uh, lovely young lady sitting right next to you, Brianna? I sure do. She really? She's amazing. <laughs> so I understand that Brianna is going to be doing some uh, some makeup for many of your sessions uh, down the road. She is, and I will say she meets my criteria. I'm very, very picky about my hair and makeup artist. Well, tell us, uh-huh. what you know. What are, <laughs> what, uh, what are some of your criteria? Um, with my clients, I love it when you can make their eyes pop and you, just naturally know what to do with their skin tones or, you know, what colors look best on them, and she's got it. Ah, thank you. <laughs> you know, I before uh, we talk more about that, I, I am curious because I have heard you say a lot that you actually require your models or ladies to have hair and makeup done before they get a photo shoot. I do. It's very important, I think, to the photo shoot, to the overall pictures, but also to the woman herself. When she sees herself in the mirror, most times they don't recognize themselves. Um, And they say, who is that? And so um, then so when they see themselves and then they kind of get all giddy and excited Mm -hmm. and then they really start getting like letting those guards down. And yeah. because they feel empowered and they feel confident in themselves. Well, you provide them a way to experience a transformation, which yes. uh, is not ordinary. Because we're, we're used to doing what we do every day, our habits, the way we look, the way we dress. Mm-hmm. And to do something special like that, where you're basically facilitating yeah, and we bring in somebody that specializes specifically uh-huh. in that. They don't have to go find their own hair and makeup artist. They don't have to do it themselves. I have somebody who is going to, you know, knows exactly what they're doing and will make them look amazing. Cool. So having said that, we have Brianna here, and she is expert on beauty makeup and such, especially <laughs> uh, lip colors and using the right uh you know, colors to um, get the features to pop. Yes. So we we go through a really customized process to kind of get to know, get to know you as the client. Um, Mm -hmm. You know, I don't just walk in and, you know, look at the face and just start putting makeup on. You know, we really go through a very detailed customization process where I get to know you your personality, your beauty, and it's it's the same kind of concept that La does. You, you took know, the words out of my mouth. Really. Where <laughs> you when 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 the client when people start feeling comfortable with you and talking, they let their guard down, and then you can see that beauty. And I do the same thing with makeup, and I can see you know their features, you know their eye color more, and and then I take my my colors and I make them pop, and I use utilize exactly what they have. I just enhance it. So, so that is so interesting. So we actually have to cut to our next commercial break, but before we go, I want to uh, touch on why people are afraid of actually 
having their features pop, maybe, or going for the mold, more bold colors? Ah, uh, yes. Is, is there a short <laughs> answer to that, or should we wait? Um, we should wait. Okay. <laughs> All right, everybody, stay tuned. We have to cut to our next commercial break. Stay with us until these after these commercial messages. <laughs> Everyone in the studio is taking a quick dance break. We'll be back after these brief commercial announcements. When marimba rhythms start to play, dance with me, make me sway. Are you sick and tired of not seeing consistent growth in your business and feel like you're spinning your wheels no matter how hard you keep working? If you're ready to finally do something about it so you can start enjoying your life more, then listen up. My name is William Mears, and I'm the founder of Mears Venture Productions and creator of the popular MVP strategy. And I'm prepared to reveal three of my most powerful business acceleration strategies with you when you pick up the phone and call me. Together, we can create that magical growth you've been chasing after. So what are you waiting for? Give me a call, 1-800-411-6472. And let's take your business to a whole new level. Hi, I'm Larry Harris from Las Vegas. I want you to know about my experience with Sophia from Sophia in Sapphire. I signed up for her 10-lesson dance challenge to gain confidence, to learn the skills, to look like I knew what I was doing. Sophia made learning how to dance fun and easy. It turned out that by the end of the challenge, I wanted more, so I continued on with more lessons. Since then, I've gained enough confidence to go out into the social scene and even ask strangers to dance. I've made new friends and feel good about myself. The challenge paid off. I finally became a babe magnet. Because after all, everyone knows girls like a guy who can dance. Thanks, Sophia. The experience is so special. The Sophia and Sapphire experts are like dance superheroes. They make it fun, easy, and comfortable. They're professional, passionate, and have a playful company culture. No lesson is the same. They break it down, and the experience is tailored to you. The milestones are exciting. Fear and intimidation no more. It's like no other. Fill out the Get Started form and get started with the Sophia and Sapphire Dance Superheroes today. Hi, it's Sophia from Sophia in Sapphire, here with a personal invitation to join me every week for my How to Dance in Real Life Situations beginner class. Begin your journey from nerdy to flirty while you learn how to make dance more than just a one-time thing. Join my How to Dance in Real Life Situations meetup at meetup.com and visit sophiainsapphire.com for more information. It's the first dance of the rest of your life. So experience all the joy and capture your unity. These memories will last forever as pictures and stories passed on by family and friends. You deserve a perfect moment that focuses on the two of you. Give your guests the gift of shared heartbeats. This is your first family story, the first intimate embrace, and the first Timeless accomplishment together. You're dancing for each other. So go ahead, take him into your arms. Do you wanna Welcome back to Do You Wanna Dance? Once again, your host, Sophia in Sapphire. Sophia in Sapphire. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your host, Sophia, and you're listening live to Do You Want to Dance Radio. Don't forget, you could find us on sophiainsapphire.com for past episodes and downloads. If you'd like to be invited to our events, like us on Facebook, Sophia in Sapphire. And please do tweet, because we do tweet, uh, Twitter handle at Dance with Sophia. And what about Ustream? They can Ooh, actually look in that's live. That's true. I too, keep forgetting. I'm we, always broadcasting on Ustream. We stream, yeah, we stream the show live uh, via video on Ustream. So, yeah, come on and, and check it out. All right. So, today we are talking about how to get f- from nerdy to flirty with confidence, healthy self image, and empowerment. We have two beauty experts here. Uh, La, she does photography and boudoir. And Brianna, you are 
awesome makeup artist. Welcome back onto the show. Brianna Michelle, Beauty by Brianna. I like that. So let's talk a little bit more about that beauty stuff. First of all, you have quite an exciting uh, past working with makeup in the industry. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yes, so so I... um, you know, started out actually in broadcasting, believe it or not, and fell into the love of makeup and beauty and um, have worked on, um, you know, other different fashion shows, did fashion work and makeup work for Christian Siriano fashion awesome. show. And in 2012, um, my blog, MakeupMinutes.com, we um, we actually covered the 2012 Billboard Awards How with cool makeup. How cool is that? And, and that was kind of, I just want to kind of go a little bit off topic Mm -hmm. with that. But the reason why we covered celebrity makeup was so that we could create those looks for everyday women. Nice. And it's not so much about, you know, image, but it's about how you feel. And so I, when people read that in my bio, I always want to make sure that it's, it's about because, you know, we've we want you to feel like your own celebrity and that's how I want my clients to feel. So I kind of took a little like twist with that, but um. I love it. No, that's what makes it more meaningful. And that's why I think uh, people gravitate towards experts like yourself and law, because you guys get to the heart of the matter. You kind of bring out the internal world and let it just beam and uh, prove it actually to with, to the subjects that you're working with. Right. So one thing that you say uh, that some women are afraid to wear red lipstick, which is true, and bold colors, but why is that so? Um, I think it's because they know deep down that, you know, people will notice. I mean, if you're walking down the street wearing a pretty bold lip, you're going to get some attention. And, <laughs> well, <you> duh. <laughs> I mean, that should go without saying. I mean. And, so I, you know... I, I think that they, a lot of times women are kind of a little shy and are, they're afraid to put themselves out there. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's what, you know, what a red lip kind of gives you that confidence. And that's what we teach. Um, we kind of go in through color tones and textures and allow you to kind of gracefully ease yourself into all the things that you really want to wear and achieve. So, um, yeah, that's kind of... Now, um, can any... Well, I, I mean, I, I'm not a professional at this by any means, but I know we have our springs and our wow. summers and our falls yes. and our winters, and, and some women look better in this makeup color than that makeup color. I mean, I'm assuming that there's a wide variety of shades of red because any one red might not look perfect on, on every single woman. Is that a, a fair assumption? Yes. Any woman, though, can wear red. Any woman can wear red. It's up to the expert <laughs> to allow you to help you find the right red and right. the right texture and the right tone. But yes, there's many different shades of red. Anyone can wear a shade. Um, and it's, it's all about finding your own personal style that you can look in the mirror and say, wow, I really like this. I like this shade. And, and I'm, st- I'm still working on that personally. <laughs> I haven't found my perfect shade yet. Yeah. And if, if we have to go down to two, two, two tones of red and have it be a little bit more of a mauve red, a little more subtle, then we mm-hmm. do that. Or if, you know, you want a bold red lip. And we put you in that red lip. I say, you know what? Take a picture of yourself. So it's whatever it's necessary to complement their skin tones and their wardrobe and the Absolute- image that they're trying to portray. Absolutely. Absolutely. And we talk about all that through the customization process. So uh, I'm kind of interested in hearing more about, you know, making bold statements with makeup and colors, especially because I dance, perform, and compete a lot. And one of the primary things coaches a lot of times talk about is you want to be noticed. You want to be noticed. And so you do bold things. You make fast movements. You wear uh, some of the most captivating costumes. You make have makeup that's crazy, hairdos, everything. Uh, to the max, to the point where it's almost uncomfortable, <laughs> you know. But if somebody wanted to make a statement, for example, if somebody does kind of want to jump off that clip and be like, hey, I want to go for something bold, I want to do something and step outside of the box, what kind of techniques or advice do you provide? You know what? I always say take a picture. 
if you take a picture of yourself, this is when selfies are absolutely appropriate. <laughs> take a picture of yourself. If you like what you see, then you know you've hit it right on the head. And I that's see. that's my little trick to do. Uh, what well. if you don't know if you like yeah, what you see? <laughs> That if makes sense. Yeah, of course. If you, you know, if you're unsure, then we st- we take baby steps. Okay. You know? We take baby steps. Maybe we'll just start with the eyes first or yeah. the lips first and then move on. So you say that makeup is more or should be more important than what you wear for clothing. Absolutely. Why is that so? Makeup is the transformation. Um, clothing, you can put on a sack. You can just be wearing something simple. But when you walk into a room, the first pers- the first thing that people see is your face. Mm-hmm. They see your face. And your face is what is your selling tool. It is it is who you are. It is is what people see and people like react with. You know, image image is important and it's it's good to carry yourself and have that professional and polished image in anything you do whether you're a stay-at-home mom or whether you know you're looking to you know go back to school or go back into the workforce Mm -hmm. so let's talk about where we could find you two girls you guys are based in vegas um where do people find you if they want to get in touch uh brianna People can find me at beautybybree.com. All right. And uh, is there uh, social media? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> of course. Um, Instagram, Brianna One Beauty. Oh, and that's probably a good one. Yes. People could check out your work. Twitter as well, Brianna One Beauty. And Facebook is actually facebook.com slash makeup minutes, which is my blog. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. I heard a bunch about your blog. Yes. So check <laughs> it out. And Law, where can we find you? You can find me at LaMariePortraiture.com on Instagram. It's LaMariePortraiture. Twitter is LaMariePortrait. And Facebook is Facebook.com slash LaMariePortraiture. I love some of your pictures. Oh, uh, you guys you. have to check it yeah. out. La, well, I've got a question for you. I know I long, long time ago I did some uh, some photography work myself. And I know that when you're in a studio, you can really make things happen with the way that you use studio lights. But I know that you prefer to shoot using natural light. Is that correct? It and is. It, and, and why? Um, basically, I feel like natural light, you can still manipulate it like studio light. I use a lot of reflectors. I use a white room a lot. Um, but I love the softness that it gives my pictures, and it gives a like a classic, timeless feel. So they're going to love their pictures forever. So that's why I use natural light. Well, I love that concept. I love that uh, that justification. That makes sense to me mm-hmm. from my uh, old, old uh, photography background. Is this uh, something that, that's unique to you? I mean, or do it a lot of people use it? It definitely sets me apart from a lot of photographers. It's also kind of you know, constraining because I can only shoot for so many hours during the day. Right. Um, what's great about being in Vegas is there's like, I don't know, 290 days of sunniness. <laughs> right. Here. So, um, I love that, but, um, definitely not all photographers use, natu- use natural light. They do use studio as well. Sure. Now, where do you find most of your clients? How do the, how do most of your clients find you? Word of mouth. Okay. Um, I have the a, best. Yes, I have a client come <laughs> in. She just can't stop talking about it. She can't stop showing her pictures to all of her friends. Um, so that's probably my number one. Um, it's referrals. Uh, we were just in luxury Las Vegas in May. Nice. So we had an article there, and we're getting ready to come out in a locals mini book. Really? Mm-hmm. So more to come on that. I can't let too much out of the bag, Uh-oh. but be on the lookout in the next month. So you're everywhere. You're everywhere. <laughs> and Brianna, how do your clients find you? Um, I am actually on the knot. Um, and I'm on me Yelp as too. well. So people find me um, via the web and also by word of mouth as well. So, yeah. That's awesome. You've got uh-huh. If you've got uh, a good uh, product that you offer the clientele, then word is going to spread, isn't it? Absolutely. Right. Thank you two so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank it you was for a us. pleasure. And I want to hear their contact information one more time. Brianna? Yes, beautybybree.com. Facebook is facebook.com slash makeup minutes. Instagram and Twitter is Brianna One Beauty. Very good. And Law? It is lawmarieportraiture.com, facebook.com slash lawmarieportraiture. Instagram is lawmarieportraiture. And Twitter is lawmarieportrait. 
Perfect. Thank you guys so much. We have to segue into our last commercial break. We will be right back after these short messages. Feel free to get up and dance while we take a quick break for these commercial messages. Hi, it's Sophia from Sophia in Sapphire, here with a personal invitation to join me every week for my How to Dance in Real Life Situations beginner class. Begin your journey from nerdy to flirty while you learn how to make dance more than just a one-time thing. Join my How to Dance in Real Life Situations meetup at meetup.com and visit sophiainsapphire.com for more information. Are you sick and tired of not seeing consistent growth in your business and feel like you're spinning your wheels no matter how hard you keep working? If you're ready to finally do something about it so you can start enjoying your life more, then listen up. My name is William Mears, and I'm the founder of Mears Venture Productions and creator of the popular MVP strategy. And I'm prepared to reveal three of my most powerful business acceleration strategies with you when you pick up the phone and call me. Together, we can create that magical growth you've been chasing after. So what are you waiting for? Give me a call, 1-800-411-6472. And let's take your business to a whole new level. It's the first dance of the rest of your life. So experience all the joy and capture your unity. These memories will last forever as pictures and stories passed on by family and friends. You deserve a perfect moment that focuses on the two of you. Give your guests the gift of shared heartbeats. This is your first family story, the first intimate embrace, and the first timeless accomplishment together. You're dancing for each other, so go ahead, take him into your arms. Hey guys, it's Sophia. Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. Dancing with Sophia in Sapphire is an incredible experience. It's not just something fun and new, but it pushes you to get more out of life, to live as if nothing is stopping you. And that's hard to do when a lot of us have inhibitions. Learning to dance will challenge your mind and expand your horizons. Meanwhile, we promise to break it down for you in totally digestible, bite-sized pieces. Whether you want to become a babe magnet or nourish the cultured side of your mind, body, and soul, dancing will engage all your senses and allow you to experience the abundance of life through its miraculous benefits. Let us assist you in the most thrilling experience ever. Join in and call us now. Don't wait. Don't think. The first step might seem scary, but trust me on this one. Anyone who's ever done it raves about it. Just check out our reviews. Hi, Sophia. It's Roxanne. I just wanted to let you know my husband and I wanted to do a first dance at our wedding, and we found Sophia and Sapphire online. We had a total of 10 lessons in three months and put together a routine that was easy for us to learn, tailored to our first song, and that made us look good at our wedding. Our wedding dance specialist from Sophia and Sapphire was amazing, patient, and taught us the dance moves progressively, and in a way that someone with no dance experience, like us, could still learn it and make it look great. Scheduling was flexible, and we were able to conveniently meet at a studio located closest to us. Thanks, Sophia. Welcome back to Do You Wanna Dance? Once again, your host, Sophia in Sapphire. Sophia in Sapphire. Welcome back to the show, everybody. I'm your hostess, Sophia, and you're listening live to Do You Want to Dance Radio. Don't forget, you could find us on sophiainsapphire.com for past episodes and downloads. If you'd like to be invited to our events, please like us on Facebook. Today, we had an awesome, awesome show. Uh, we were talking about confidence, healthy self-image, and empowerment. Um, La and Brianna, thank you for being on the show. And from what I understand, uh, you are 
doing a special offer. Yeah. Well, let's start with you. What are you offering our listeners today? Um, 50% off a session fee. So wow. if they just mention you guys and cool. do you want a dance show, then we will give them 50% off the session. And how do you prefer people get in touch with you? Telephone, internet, email? Telephone is 918-606-4979, or you can go on our website and contact us that way at lawmarieportraiture.com. And as long as they mention Sophia and Sapphire and the Do You Want a Dance radio show, you're offering 50% off of? Their session fee. The session fee. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's cool. A, that's a great deal. Even guys? If they want to. <laughs> I typically don't do guys, but if I do couples sometimes. so. Oh, good to know. That's a different show. <laughs> and Brianna? Yes, yeah, so if anyone mentions the show, I'm offering 50% off one of my face styling makeup sessions, awesome. which is a makeup lesson. And um, they can get in touch with me best either beautybybrie at gmail.com or... Um, Call me directly at 312-945-6401. Perfect. And we'll put all that information uh, on the Sophia and Sapphire sure. website, right? Yes, so especially we'll have, well, on Facebook for sure. Right. So we'll have all those links. So um, I want to ask you something, yes, uh, Sophia. I, I've been meaning to ask you this for a long time, but I think today is the uh, the right time today. to do it. Because we have, I mean, this is our episode, what, number 19? Yeah. Is that right? I think it's time that we officially designate a makeup artist of the Do You Want to Dance radio show. All and right. I'm going to I'm going to nominate Brianna. <laughs> and Yay. can we make her the official yes. makeup artist? And then can Yay. we make La the official boudoir photographer <laughs> of the Do You Want to Dance radio? Is that okay? Oh man. What okay. a great idea. Okay, so you can put that on your website. You awesome. are the official boudoir the photographer official. and the official makeup artist of the Do You Want to Dance radio show. Yes. I of course, that it. means you have to I come in 30 it. minutes early and do both of our hair and makeup. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that, right? That's a fair oh, trade-off, isn't it? Sure, All right. yes. All right. All right. Oh, Al, I, I thank you for coming up with that idea because I would have never thought of anything like that. No, that I mean, it, it's official. I mean, you know, they've got this uh, Las Vegas Review Journal. They come out with their awards and they have the yeah. official, the top ten and the best and all that. Whoever pay, nobody pays attention to the Review Journal, but I mean, everybody listens to the Do You Want to Dance radio show. I mean, we have so much uh, clout here that people really want to know where to go to get their boudoir photography, to get their their makeup done, and uh, all the things associated with dancing and uh, yeah. and wedding, the first dance. So actually, I'll I'll start putting a list together and put it on my website as well. I do shout out to all of our guests and all awesome vendors that I've been working with, but I think. Uh, it's a great way to showcase, you know, who who you like, who you trust in in town, and it takes a while to establish some good and um, quality relationships. And when uh, you do find them, it's really cool thing to share. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. And we have had some fantastic guests here on the uh, on the Do You Want to Dance radio show. Do we have time to take a, a quick All phone right, call? quick yeah, phone call? A quick phone call. All right, welcome to the Do You Want to Dance radio show. Okay, I want to be an official fan. Official fan. <laughs> Happy nineteen. Yeah, you're gonna have you're gonna have to submit. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> you're gonna is this Bob? Oh, you yeah, know it has to be Bob. <laughs> it has so to I'll be Bob. Be sitting around at one thirty in the afternoon. Oh well, my Bob, gosh. Bob, I don't know. We're gonna have to see your application. We're gonna have to see it in triplicate. You're gonna have to have it notarized, and you're gonna have to have. Uh, a headshot, and you're also <laughs> going to have to have uh, your makeup done. And the funky arrangement. Yeah, all well, that. Unfortunately but... for you guys, it's already FedEx down to the studio. Excellent. Awesome. Is. Bob, thanks for calling. We really appreciate it. Thank you so you're much. Welcome. Goodbye. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Tune in again next week at 4 p.m. We're live every Wednesday on the Do You Want to Dance radio show, live on VegasAllNetRadio.com.
for listening to Do You Want to Dance? Tune in again next week for more interviews, advice, and insight into how you could go from nerdy to flirty and learn how simple it is to turn your dreams into reality. Reality. On the Do You Want to Dance radio show, Wednesdays at 4 p.m., right here on Vegas, all at radio.com. Views and opinions expressed on this program were those of the hosts and guests and did not necessarily reflect those of Vegas All Net Radio, its affiliates, or its parent company.